So apparently, literally everyone doesn't think that I know that you get a Lapras from this dude. Because I'm just the most clueless person in the world. Thank you for that. So yes, if you talk to this guy, he'll be like, Oh, hey, you save us. Here's a Lapras. Because it's not like I totally need this Pokemon or anything. And we're just going to put him in a box. Before we go to take on Giovanni, actually, we're going to get out of this place. Because we have better things to do. And by better things, I mean we're going to go to the fighting thing. And we're going to just wreck some Pokemon there. Because... People, there seems to be a debate, people not realizing that Silphco is a c completely different place than Saffron City. Look, Silphco, or Saffron, Silphco, Saffron, Silphco, it even has its own little eye catch. So yeah, they're completely different places, you can catch Pokemon in either one. So speaking of the Saffron, if you can't see where this is going, I am going to go take on the Fighting Dojo and we're going to get ourselves, doesn't matter which one we get, because I believe either way it's level 25, so we'll probably just grab the first one. And this will be a good chance to train up Nikestro because... Nikestro will be able to pretty much wreck everything in here, considering he is neutral to fighting type attacks. And I don't, th I'm a little worried about Machokes. I know pretty much Primeapes can't touch this thing because for some reason all Primeapes ever seem to have is Fury Attack, or, um, not Fury Attack, Fury Swipes, the even more derpy version. So, yeah. Plus they're all like level 29, so it's not exactly a challenge. I believe actually the head, the head dude of this place is like two level 40 Pokemon. So. We gotta be a little careful about that, but I you think his Hitmonchan is like all special, has like three special attacks because has the elemental punches, which can't do anything because it's such a shame. But Hitmonchan cannot utilize those attacks at all; they're just a waste in third generation. In fourth generation, fifth generation is completely different story since both those moves are all three of those moves are physical, but in this one, it's really just a waste of time. So, you know. You just kind of got to sit there and accept the fact that you have a derpy Pokemon. But that doesn't mean Hitmonchan is bad. You can have a very good Hitmonchan. Uh, you can do, I know, uh, Blacklight Attack in his Leaf Green run. He had a sub-focus punch Hitmonchan, which was really good. I believe in my Fire Red one, my Hitmonchan, I had, I think, like, Earthquake, Mock Punch, Brick Break, and Strength on it. Which is a very good moveset. You know, it doesn't have a big pool of moves it can learn that are physical, but... The ones it can, can hit really, really hard, so it's definitely not a useless Pokemon. I think it's much better than Hitmonlee, at least in this generation. I don't know if there's, like, really much use for Hitmonlee, because I don't think he can learn Brick Break. I think, like, the best move he get is High Jump Kick, which I don't like using High Jump Kick and Jump Kick, because if they miss, I think High Jump Kick, wow, speaking of missing, I think High Jump Kick is 90% accuracy or 95, but if either of those miss, or if, like, the opponent happens to use, like, uh, protect or something, then you lose like half your HP just because you're stupid, which is very, very risky. I don't like that at all. So, I actually thought that you could um, only take on two of the trainers. I didn't realize they had like such range that they'd see you all the way from the other side of the room. So, whatever. It's just more XP for Nikestro. So, after we take on all these trainers, he'll probably be 37. The bad news is the two Pokemon we're going to be hatching here are only going to be level 25. So, I think there's only two Pokemon left that I like really want to find. One is obviously Caterpie because I love Butter. I love Caterpie. I love Butterfree very much. And the other one is a Pokemon I've actually heard a lot about, or I haven't heard a lot about it, but I remember someone mentioning it. Is that there's an Abra in this box that has the Elemental Punches, and I'm I'm really kind of excited to get that because that would be really awesome to be <laughs> to be honest to have an Alakazam with the three Elemental Punches and you throw in Psychic. That thing's gonna wreck house. It's just gonna pretty much, yeah, it's gonna be like the murderer Pokemon. The bad thing is though that Alakazam's and the entire Abra line are relatively squishy, so you have to be careful with them because a very, you know, a surprise Shadow Ball and you're dead. You know, you don't know where a ghost type or dark type. Actually, well, I don't think. I was gonna say, I don't think you have to worry about dark type moves, but because there aren't any dark type Pokemon in first gen, but there are dark type moves, Bite and I think Crunch, so. I think they'd have Crunch right now, I, I don't know, but um, someone was recommending that I should put, okay, yep, yeah, that's cool. Oh, I kind of hope he goes for High Jump Kick, that would be amazing. He did! That's, whoa, 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 what, what, what? <laughs> oh, I did not realize Mind Reader still made a hit if you're flying. Whoa, oh, <laughs> I was so happy that it's like, that happens like, what's happening right now? That was scary. That was extremely scary. Wow. Um, 
All right, so you learn something every day. Mind reader still hits even if you're flying. Okay, didn't know that before. Anyways, someone was saying I should put Brick Break on Woolican, and I don't really see the point of that, considering if I did that, I would actually have Brick Break on three different Pokemon, which kind of seems like overkill. Half my team would have Brick Break. And the only really coverage it'd give, if it was, it would give me a move that's strong against Ice, which I already have in Metal Claw. It'd give me a move that's strong against Fighting, or a Normal, which I already have a Fighting-type Pokemon for that. And it'd give me a move that's strong against Dark type Pokemon, which we aren't even gonna get Dark type Pokemon until we get to the after game. So Yeah. Anyways, I don't think either of those are gonna be extremely I don't think Brick Break's gonna be useful, so I don't know what I'm gonna have as another move for Metang. It's soon to be Metagross, hopefully. I haven't decided, but Alright, for eggs, let's take I'm trying to just hope where in the world could this Abra and I know there's a Caterpie in here, where could the Caterpie be? Let's try this egg, and put a Lapras, let's we'll switch for another Lapras, I'll put you in here for now buddy, I'm sorry, I don't want to put you in a box, but, and this Abra, let's go, box 4, let's try this one, I really want an Abra, I really want this Abra, I believe with the um, ultimate randomizer turning off trade evolutions, I think all trade evolution Pokemon evolve at like 36 or 38, or it might be around 40, I'm really just kind of guessing because I don't know. Either way, both these Pokemon are going to be level 25. The first is another Growlithe. Awesome. Okay, that's cool. Let's name you, I don't know, let's name you Stripes because you have Stripes and naming you Zebra wouldn't make any sense so you're going to be nicknamed Stripes. I could have named you Flag because, you know, the US flag has Stripes on it and that's cool and everything but, alright, so you don't have anything overly useful. Let's try hatching the second egg. I know there's still some places we can catch Pokemon um, like we can still go and catch that the Snorlax will be level 30 and eventually I will go catch all these Pokemon right now I'm relatively happy with the Pokemon I have I'm not super overly worried about hatching new ones that for the most part are probably just gonna be under leveled and require more training I will hatch all the rest of the eggs at the end of the game whether I lose or I win the game I will hatch all the eggs that are left over so we can find out what everybody submitted find out just how many illegal Pokemon there are and all that fun so this one is taking its own sweet time to hatch wow okay you want to be like that so what you want to take forever did I not heal up okay it's about to hatch I better heal up before I forget because I will walk out of here and I will go into the Giovanni battle completely being a moron and forgetting to heal up so let's use our brain power and maybe hatch a new Pokemon and I might okay I'm just gonna pause and hatch this thing cuz this is taking forever you know, it figures that it would only hatch like five seconds later. I should have saw that one coming. Anyways, this one, please, Abra, Caterpie, Abra, Caterpie. It's another Lapras! Why are there so many Laprases? Jeez. Um, okay, I'll name you... I'm gonna name you Orange because of the Orange Islands. Uh, because I'm, I'm just that good with nicknames that... Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at these two Pokemon. Alright, well, we already took a look at one. This one has... Water Gun, Growl, Sing, and Shockwave. I believe, I assume since it learns Thunderbolt, it can learn Shockwave as well. Either way, I'll level these guys up, and then we'll go take on Giovanni, so, yay. You know, one thing I really liked about 5th Generation was they made it so you didn't have to reselect an item every time you wanted to use it. You gotta admit, that was really nice when you're using rare candies or potions or whatever. I love that. And another thing 5th Gen really did right, which actually isn't relevant to this at all, but I like the fact that you can just like automatically reuse a repel. You didn't have to uh, select it again. It's just like, do you want to use another one? You can just be like, heck yeah, I want to use another one. And then you use another one. It's just, it's a big happy world. I believe there's one more trainer. Yep, yeah, okay. I was going to say, let's go take on Giovanni and get our stupid little Master Ball. But yeah, no, there's one more trainer in our way and Nikestro. Uh, you know, I'm sure you can handle this little keyboard just fine. What is it? Keyboard's gonna rage at us. Oh god. Someone get this guy a keyboard. Anyways, so he shouldn't be much of a challenge. Oh, why would you even use a ground type move, man? Just very disappointed in keybones today. A drowsy. Ooh. Uh, let's go with Jimmy. I want to start getting Jimmy some levels because I think he'll be useful against both, um, for some reason, Koga. I know there's not a lot of poison type Pokemon in first generation, and a lot of them are grass types, and you literally just had Erica with the grass types and the poison types, so you don't need more of that stuff, but 
Uh, there's like Arbok, and I'm not gonna list all the poison types, but like 90% of the Pokemon in Koga's gym, besides Koga himself, are psychic types. They're Drowsies and Hypnos. It's like, well, I know they get poison gas, but that's like, is that the really the only reason that you just randomly throw them in there? You're about to take on a psychic type, minus psychic type gym leader. Might as well just give the gym leader. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I want to switch. Nope, I didn't want to start off with. I didn't want to start off with the Kestro. I didn't want to. God dang it. Anyways, you, I mean, you're just, might as well just throw in like a bunch of coughings and Zubats or something. At least it makes more sense instead of having Hypnos in a, the flying type gym. Or the psychic type gym. The, the poison type gym. That one. Just, okay, so that's the third time we've missed, that's the third time we missed fly in this video alone. That's a little annoying, considering you're not supposed to miss it that much. It's only 5% chance to miss that, and we've literally missed it like every time we've used it so what are the odds of that missing it three times and it's five percent chance that's wow okay yeah that even hit all five times too wow okay that's cool let's just ruin everything for hardy thank you Nikestro, you are not dying he managed to do it good job buddy okay next up is Rhyhorn we will let Beto take care of that I believe this is Probably, I don't think like the level curve is that much different when you took on him in the rocket hideout. I mean, his Pokemon maybe increased by like one level. I think his Kangaskhan is actually still level 40, so not exactly a big change from last time you battled him. Oh, nobody added a Nidoqueen. That's what's new. So I will stay in and I will Psychic this. Actually, um, Ice Beam and Surf and Psychic are all super effective, but Ice Beam and Surf gets stabbed. So let's go with Ice Beam. Tail Whip. Ooh, that's... Interesting. Why would you still have Tail Whip at this level? I don't understand you. Okay, another Ice Beam will do it. Poison Sting. I just realized that he could have potentially gone for Double Kick if he had it. And luckily, I don't know if he does, but he wasn't smart enough to use it. And with that Tail Whip, I don't think Double Kick would have killed, but it's still scary. So now let's go with Sipper to handle this Kangaskhan. We handled Kangaskhan very well last time. As long as it keeps using Bite like it did last time, because it... Oh! Okay, nope, it's got Fake Out. That's cool. Yeah. Let's just... Let's just completely change up. Weren't you higher level last time I faced you? Now I'm confused. Maybe... Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, no, that's the weaker of the two. I was gonna say, oh god, no, but that's Mega Punch, which... Mega Punch is a lot weaker. I think it's only 75 base power. It has like 85 accuracy, so. Which is still horrible accuracy for a move of that power. It's not really fair. Last of all, you ruined our plans for self. But the Bronco will never fail. Hardy never forget that the Pokemon is just what he brought it. I must go for our shot return. Thank you. Wonder what happens if you just like for. Oh! Why is. Why is there a PC here, exactly? Okay, yeah, whatever. I won't question it. I'm just curious as to why it's there. I mean, it's not like you can use it before you battle Giovanni. And it's not exactly useful afterwards, but whatever. We got our Master Ball. I have no idea what I'm going to use it on. Do I have an escape rope? I can use an escape rope inside a building. Why not? Okay. I don't. I want to question that so badly, but the rest of me is like, just, just don't, Hardy. Just let it slide. Just let it slide. The fact that you can simply just jump out a window, but nope. Instead, you're just... I'm not gonna question. I'm just gonna move on, ignore it, pretend it never happened, and we will go live a happy life somewhere else. Anyways, let's go take on Koga. Because I believe Koga will be easier than Sabrina, except for his muck. God, that muck is gonna give me so many nightmares. Alright, so since most of these Pokemon have, or most of these guys have Hypnos, because, you know, screw logic. Except for one as an Arbok, and I know this Arbok always uses Glare on me, so it always paralyzes me. Anyways, we'll be sw um, dividing our training here between Jimmy. Wow, you're a high level. Okay. We'll be dividing our training between Jimmy, uh, Meta, Metang, and probably Lapras. I'm not 100% sure about Lapras, but okay. Now I'm scared. That's going to do a lot. Actually, I didn't do that much, but I'm I'm absolutely terrified of this Hypno. Hypnos, like I said, I, I know I said this before, but... I never knew they were so bulky until I started taking them on in my Fire Red Nose Lock, and they were just, like, living everything for some re- Oh, that's right, you're not a poison type. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. I will only use Shadow Ball on your derpy little butt from now on. Is that okay? Does that make you happy? Because that makes me happy. Now, let's Super Potion up that poor, poor Arcanine. 
he didn't stand a chance. Okay, I believe the next trainer is actually the one with the R box. So I will let uh, Beto handle that one. I actually could go with Moon, because Moon could use some experience being still level 35. I think Moon's the only one that's still level 35, although Heracross might still be 35. I wasn't paying attention. Cause, nope, okay, you have a Drowsy. Just completely ruined that strategy. Thank you. Okay, that's nice. Let's switch out into... Wulkin's like the only person I feel... Okay, oh, wow, these are only guys level 31, so... I could probably let Arcanine handle them, but... Wulkin's the only one I actually feel safe switching into these guys, because I know he could pretty much live everything with his massive defense, so... Plus he has amazing coverage with the three moves he has. I mean, Shadow Ball, um, Psychic, and Metal Claw, that takes on a lot of stuff. I kind of wish... Actually, I don't really think there's a need for a Dark-type move, because I'm already strong against Psychic and Ghost, so... A Ground-type move would still be nice. I... Someone told me to give him Earthquake because apparently there's just like a million Earthquake TMs lying around. But yeah, no, you only get one Earthquake TM in the entire game, and I'll probably end up giving it to, um, I'll probably end up giving it to Nido Nido King, assuming he's still alive by the time we beat Giovanni again. Because stab Earthquake, oh god, he's gonna wreck things at that point. I kind of hope he lives that long. Now, of course, now that I said that, I'm sure by the time I get to Giovanni, I'll have some horrible incident where I get absolutely destroyed. Let's hope that doesn't happen, but you never know. Okay, this is the guy. You're the guy with the Arbok, aren't you? I also studied the wave, the ninja with Master Kyoga. Ninjas have a long history of using anime nos. Aminaminos. And yet, I bet you have an Arbok. You have an Arbok. Who's gonna tell him a snake is not an animal? A snake is... I believe a snake is a reptile, and I'm probably gonna sound like an absolute moron saying that, because it probably is in fact an animal. But I'm 90% sure a snake is not an animal, it is a reptile, so your argument is invalid. But you got a poison sting, so it's okay, I forgive you. You didn't mean to be stupid, did you? Do you have more Arbox? No, you have a Sand Slash. Um, uh, that's right, so the only, like, the only person I have that's strong against ground types is Beto. I keep forgetting that. But Beto pretty much wrecks ground types, they don't stand a chance because with two stabs that annihilate ground types, yeah. Beto's just kind of here laughing his little shell off. Oh, I didn't see what he was sending in. I think it was another Arbok. So we will go with Moon yet again. Is it? Yeah, it is an Arbok. That's an odd combination. Two Arboks and a Sand Shrew, or Sand Slash. Neither, none of those three are actually animals. I don't believe a Shrew is an animal. Actually, I think a Shrew is a plant, so I'm pretty sure I'm getting this wrong. I don't remember what Sandshrew is, I think it's like a little, I don't know, a scorpion brick house thing? I I don't know. I know there was like a, a lot of people like yelling at me of why Sandshrew can learn Poison Sting. There's still people leaving comments on that video saying why he can learn Poison Sting, so thank you for that by the way. But I don't remember what they said he was. I want to think he's like a little sh shrew mouse hole thing, but... That doesn't seem right. And I have to keep in mind, I am weak to ground type moves. So, that's right. Despite being the super powerhouse ground type, he is weak to ground because his stupid poison typing. I, I like his poison typing a lot because it gives him a lot of resistances. You know, he could switch into grass type moves. He could switch into poison types, fighting type. He can do a lot, but he can't take ground type moves, which it kind of reminds me of Dragon in the sense like you're weak to your own types, but... The same thing with, like, um, Geodude, the Geodude line. I always find it funny that despite being ground types, they're weak to ground because of their rock typing. Which, but they're not weak to rock. It, it's very confusing. And, and yeah, wow. I just kind of realized that um, Moon is weak to ground type, but I believe he quad resist his other typing, which is poison. So, Moon don't care. Moon just, he don't care. Let's, I want to, I don't want to, I don't want to... I don't want to battle you, I just want to get the Koga and probably lose this Nuzlocke because this Muck is going to make my life horrible. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to two-shot Muck with Psychic, although I doubt that'll actually go the way I'm planning because nothing ever goes the way I'm planning, though someone was nice enough to tell me that his Weezing can't touch Metang, so that's good to know. Because I, I didn't know if it had Fire Blast, I wanted to think it was a possibility that it might have Fire Blast or Flamethrower. Uh, apparently it is Explosion. Or it might be self-destruct, so I'm a little worried about that because I know we can live as self-destruct, but explosion's a complete different deal because explosion's 250 base power. 
Plus, it halves your defense, so it's virtually a 500 base power move, and it kind of messes people up. So, can we get to Koga? We can! Awesome. Let's heal up what few Pokemon need it. I believe the only Pokemon that are going to be getting used here are probably... I could potentially just sweep this entire thing with just um, Metang, but that's no fun, is it? So we're going to lead up with Beto, because I think he starts off with Copping, and I want to get some diversity going. I'll be a child like you dares to challenge me, Koga. I swear the idea make me shiver with mirth. Shiver like the rain and the cold and the weather, and I'm just going to take off all my clothes and kiss you upside down now. Very well, I shall show you the true terrors of Ninja Master. Poison Break Steady Doom, Sleep Renders Foes Helpless. Disband of the Creeping Horde of the Poison Type Pokemon! Pokemon! Does he have a Venomoth, actually? I just might have realized that when he said sleep, I'm like, oh crap, I bet he has a Venomoth. So, if he does, that's kind of scary. I know he has coughing, wheezing, and muck. I'm a little worried he's probably going to have Venomoth, and that makes me sad, but let's hope that's not the case. Muck, okay, here it is. This is the Pokemon that makes my life horrible. I'm putting a lot of faith in Wolok in here to potentially sweep this guy. I don't think it'll happen. Wait on, let's Psychic. We are faster. Let's hope he doesn't go for Minimize, but I'm pretty sure it's like the most logical choice on his part. Minimize! Yay! Okay, that's cool. We just need to hit it one more time, I believe. This should kill it. We hit it. Thank you. Muck, die. Please, don't you live. You whore! Don't do it, no! Okay, okay. This is fine. I don't actually think he'd actually be able to kill us, because I think he probably only has maybe... I know he has Acid Armor, I know he has Minimize, he probably has like Sludge Bomb and or some kind of Poison type move which won't affect us. I don't know what his fourth move would be, but if we get min max damage again, I'm going to be so frustrated. Or actually, if, if we run out of Psychics, I'm going to be even more frustrated because I didn't go to the, I didn't go to the Pokemon Center. I do have a Max Elixir, I believe, but still... Can we maybe hit this thing? Please kill it. Don't get min-max again. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well. Next up is another coughing. Okay. Well, that's just my question. I think I'm going to go with Beto for the rest of this. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with Weezing. I don't want to make this super easy because I know his Weezing absolutely cannot touch Metang in any way. So, going with Beto could be fun. And we only have like six Laprases to back us up. So... Losing one isn't really the end of the world, but I'm going to just try to make this a little more challenging, and if we lose something, you know, because I've been doing really good in this Nuzlocke, and I, I don't know, I kind of want to have a bit of a challenge. Wow, okay, one more sec. As long as we can live one move, as long as we can live this sludge, we will have this one. Okay, we got poison, but you know what? It doesn't actually matter, because this psychic will kill it. So, congratulations, Beto. I was not expecting Beto to come in here and kill three of his Pokemon, so... You gotta give him some credit. You gotta give Beto credit where it's due. He he stepped up and he did his job, so fantastic. Now that you have the soul bad, ho ha, the defense of your Pokemon right does, ho ha. I'll also let you surf outside the battle, ho ha. I also take those, ho ha. That's a TM, ho ha, lies toxic, ho ha. It's a secret defeating date back at 400 ideas, ho ha. Ho ha. Ha. Yeah. Okay, so. We are not gonna be taking on Sabrina today because. I'm pretty sure getting through Sabrina's maze itself is going to take an entire video because as you guys saw in the last video, I'm horrible at mazes. Although I might just use a map because I I don't know, I really don't feel like spending an entire video trying to get through Sabrina's stupid little maze and I always get lost in there because warp tiles confuse me so much. So yeah, next time we'll be taking on Sabrina and then assuming everything goes well, I believe we'll begin our journey towards... Um, the island, I, I can't remember. It's, it's, uh, what is the name of this freaking island? Oh my god, I am having a huge dirt moment. It, I'm gonna remember it like right before I get to it. Cinnabar, I knew it. I remember right before I got to it. I remember what it's called. So, yeah, we'll be going to Cinnabar next time. And, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. How about maybe 317 likes? Yeah, that's a good challenge. Until next time, I'm Hardy Tech Yo Yo. Thank you for. Didn't I already say that? Yeah, I can say it twice because you guys are amazing. Thank you for watching three times now. I'm Hardy. I'm. I just keep repeating myself. Peace, peace, peace. Yay! I screwed up. Bye.